The Harborview restaurant on San Francisco's Embarcadero was the site of the 2019 Miss Asian Global, Miss Asian America launch party, where some of the new delegates were introduced to the crowd and given their first taste of the kind of attention that they'll be getting prior to this year's pageant, which will be held at San Francisco's Herb's Theater on Saturday, August 10th at seven o'clock. The event gave sponsors and supporters a chance to mingle and get to know the young women who will be embarking on their journey as pageant delegates. I love coming to Miss Asia America pageant and the press conference. You know, the women are getting smarter and smarter. It says a lot about the future for women's empowerment and especially Asian women empowerment. I love to see it. I love this event. I, I find people so good. And I actually try to discover more talents out there and help the young, young ladies to find this platform so that they can shine better whatever they want to do. They seem like a very smart lady, very talented lady, and a very sweet. Definitely, I think in the future, I think they represent the future of the, the Asian um, um, uh, female in the United States, basically. Past pageant winners were also in attendance and talked about the effect that the pageant has had on their lives. How much have you changed after after winning a title here? I think that a lot of my confidence, I thought it would come with a title, but it actually came during the process of getting ready for the pageant. And ever since then, I feel like I've been a lot more confident in meeting new people and kind of standing up on the stage and just, you know, Presenting myself, I feel a lot more confident and I feel like a different person for sure. This pageant has done a lot for breaking down the stereotypes of, of beauty pageants. Yes. It, you must be proud about that. Oh yes, I'm extremely proud because um, everyone has a preconceived notion of how pageants are supposed to be and how pageant girls are. And I think every single year and every single girl has been breaking these barriers one by one and I am so proud of them. The delegates were formally introduced and participated in a dance number to entertain the crowd. Then some of the delegates shared their reasons for wanting to be in this pageant. I want to be Miss Asian Global Queen because I want to be that woman to empower others, no matter how old they are, how, what, what, how they look like. Um, I want to be that queen to help others. I um, aspire to inspire other women to start their own business in whatever their dreams are. I was interested in Miss Asian Global primarily because they help you foster a bond with your pageant sisters and instead of kind of being um, competitors against each other, you're all working together to have a great time, form a special bond, have a wonderful experience with the pageant, become more confident versions of yourselves along the way and if you happen to grab a title or two, that's fantastic. Growing up, I always looked at pageant women and I thought, Wow, these are the role models within their community. You know, they must be the smartest, the most talented, the most beautiful, the most kind-hearted women to go out and stand before everybody and, and be a role model. And so I always aspired to be that woman. I come from a very uh, normal family and I never thought that I would be a part of a glamour industry or anything close to glamour. And this pageant for sure will will at least train me in the glamorous route. Through this pageant, I hope to grow my platform, which is um, creating a safe, safe play places for underprivileged children. But um, I hope to honestly just grow my platform with it and really have a good time. Through this short experience so far, I realized that this brings a lot of friendship as well as networking opportunities, as well as personal development and public speaking and, um, improvement. So I just think that it really helps well-round a person. Pageant founder Rose Chung and pageant president Vincent Ma are extremely proud of how this pageant has focused on women's empowerment. Today is really exciting with the press conference. Uh, today's girls is just their first appearance. And then when they come back next year, they're like, they're a changed woman. They're gonna, they go through this journey and this experience that they will feel like they have uh, more skills and tools to become successful in the future. And also they know more about various community organizations that do good work. So I'm just really inspired, so exciting. When entering an event like this and the community and all the people, especially in San Francisco, they embrace them. 
you know? And suddenly they just get this energy to empower themselves and that's what we want. We want them to be empowered and we want them to represent. And that's the beauty of this pageant. And so we're excited, I'm excited uh, to be a part of it. Once again, the 2019 Miss Asian Global Miss Asian America pageant takes place on Saturday, August 10th at Herb's Theater in San Francisco. The event always sells out, so get your tickets early. This is Dave Gingona, reporting for Fan TV.